This is Talk About Topeka on Gab Local TV. This episode is sponsored by Field of Greens and The Break Room. Here's your host, Chris Schultz. Well, we're celebrating 75 years of the Civil Air Patrol here today. We have Captain Tim Thornton and Lieutenant Katie Mazos here with us. Thank you for joining us today. Really do appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you. It's Thank good you. stuff going on here. 75 years of the Civil Air Patrol. Uh, uh, Captain Thornton, will you tell us a little bit about the organization? Uh, what is Civil Air Patrol? Sure. Civil Air Patrol is the official auxiliary of the United States Air Force. It is also its own separate uh, nonprofit uh, corporation, a 501c3. And we have three main missions, which include emergency services, aerospace education, as well as cadet programs. Mm -hmm. It's very cool stuff. We've talked a little bit about it on our show before, um, but this is this is cool. 75 years is a pretty big year. Um, we've got some really interesting things that Civil Air Patrol does within the community. Uh, Katie, tell us a little bit about what kind of programming you do. Well, we have a cadet program which um, all youths um, ages 12 to 18 are invited to participate in. Um, it's almost like um, <clears throat> a junior ROTC, but it's the official Air Force Auxiliary. The cadets get hand-me-down Air Force uniforms. Cool. Um, they get to participate in aerospace education activities, including um, flying, mm -hmm. um, the Cessna 172s. Um, they also get to learn things like leadership, a drill and ceremonies. Um, they can also participate in emergency services type things as well. Excellent. And I, I'm curious, how did you guys get involved with the Civil Air Patrol? Uh, Tim, tell us, you start. I, I learned about Civil Air Patrol when I was in high school. Mm -hmm. And uh, I started at uh, a squadron uh, over in Shawnee Mission, Kansas. It was Shawnee Mission Composite Squadron. Um, and I just learned about it. It was something that I had been interested in. I was already in the high school's JROTC program. Mm -hmm. And doing both of these programs together, they just kind of fit together. Um, my father was in the Air Force, so I had more of a, a tie and interest to doing Air Force things as opposed to I was in a Navy JROTC program. Mm -hmm. uh, so that just brought me right along into it. Mm -hmm. And I've just enjoyed the program ever since. Uh, in particular, all, all the volunteer service and just the, the volunteering um, and giving back to the community has really mm -hmm. been great for me. Getting involved, the youth involved with all of this as yes. well. It's pretty good stuff. Mm -hmm. And good on the uh, the Air Force. My dad and grandpa were in the oh, Air Force. So excellent. It's pretty much the best ever, right? That's right. right. That's right. <laughs> right. Absolutely. Exactly. <laughs> well. Until we have the Marines on, and then we got to... Then you got to watch yourself. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Katie, what did you get involved with? Um, uh, like... Captain Thornton, I learned about Civil Air Patrol when I was in high school. I joined kind of late. I was 16. Um, and I was thinking about going into the military as a career at the time, and I thought Civil Air Patrol would be a great way to help me kind of prepare for that. And um, I, I fell in love first meeting, and um, I was a cadet until I turned 21. I made it up to uh, Cadet Second Lieutenant, and um, right now I'm the Deputy Commander of uh, cadets for our squadron in Topeka mm -hmm. and the cadets are really what keeps me coming back because I like shaping America's youth into great leaders and to kind of carry on the traditions and everything that goes with the cadet program. Very good. Now did you have uh, any family in the military or a background uh, with the Air Force or anything? My Actually, my family's all Army and so am I. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> um, all right. I, well, yeah. nobody's I, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Well, <laughs> well I, I am a broadcaster with the Kansas National Guard. Actually, we are at the uh, um, same building. We are at uh, 2800 Topeka Boulevard, and we meet there every Monday night from 7 to 9 p.m. And my guard unit is actually down below there, so I, I'm in that building quite a bit. But my grandfather was um, in Korea in the Army, and my dad was a Vietnam War veteran as well. So my family is all Army. <laughs> well, I, I think it's all wonderful. I want to thank all you guys and your families for your service. Uh, it's very cool thank you. Uh, that you've done that for us. Um, okay, so I want to talk a little bit about the aerospace program. Uh, Tim, you want to talk a little bit about that? Sure. Um, we have, like I said, one of the three national missions is aerospace education. And uh, we have two focuses, both internal and external. Of course, internally we have our own pilots and air crew, and so we have to make sure that their certifications are maintained and kept up. But we also do outreach programs where we can go into schools um, or other public venues and present on the aerospace environment and the aerospace industry, 
because, you know, theoretically one day we'll all have flying cars and everything, so you got to start <laughs> developing the culture now so that they, they understand these concepts. I sure hope we do have the flying cars. They're already, they're already kind of doing it almost, really. You're seeing a lot of technology now that's mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's happening. It, it may be coming sooner than we think. Mm -hmm. so. That's pretty cool stuff. And about the cadet program, I want to uh, get, get you a little bit in here to talk yeah. a, about that. What's that like? All right. Um, well, as I mentioned before, um, the cadet program is um, built on a lot of things. Um, they do a lot of leadership um, coursework through um, these, uh, this curriculum called uh, leadership, or excuse me, Learn to Lead. Mm -hmm. And um, they take tests and make promotions just like um, anybody else in JROTC would. Um, they have to do a physical fitness test. They can, um, uh, they can participate in emergency services as well. They can get ground team certifications. They can um, solo in an airplane at the age of 16 mm -hmm. with the right training and with all of the uh, special activities mm -hmm. that are localized to what they want to do. So the cadet program really kind of has everything for everybody that's interested. Really cool, yeah. and it reaches out to everybody. So, mm -hmm. so if you've heard about the Civil Air Patrol, now you have. Now you can get involved with it by joining the cadet program. I uh, really want to thank you guys so much for coming by and uh, help, helping us celebrate 75 years of the Civil Air Patrol. Uh, that's Captain Tim Thornton and Lieutenant Katie Mazos. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for your service. And uh, thanks for plugging a really cool organization. I hope people uh, get out there and check it out and, and get involved with you guys. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for having us. It's it really my pleasure. It. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, don't go away, folks. We've got more coming up right after this.